Welcome back to the Knitting Podcast. I'm back with a new short and sweet episode containing an almost finished object that I won't be able to finish for a little bit. If you remember, last Christmas I was gifted a uh, couple of huge balls of yarn from my sister from Viking, Viking Pledgarn blanket yarn. And uh, inside it is, I don't know if you can tell, uh, different descriptions of uh, how you can knit a blanket in, with different methods. And I chose to do one where I cast on three stitches and I increased one in, on each side. And I started knitting back and forth. And the yarn she gifted me was a grey and a pink. So I, what I decided to do was instead of making two smaller blankets, I was going to make one big blanket and I would use the gray yarn. I would just start in the corner and knit my way, increasing on each end until I ran out of yarn. And when I ran out of yarn, I was going to switch to, to the pink ball of yarn and I would do the opposite and just decrease one in, on every side. So I started to knit and I started this project on Christmas Eve. Uh, I'm in Sweden, so we do uh, Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. And I started knitting on this, uh, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there. And uh, then New Year's came in January and I've been, you know, working on it on and off ever since. And then a couple of weeks ago, I just had this urge to work solely on this project. I was a woman obsessed. And this is not uh, difficult in any way, it's, it's just garter stitch. So, you know, it's a kind of project you can do while watching Netflix or whatever. So I was knitting and it started to grow and I knit some more and I knit some more and some more and <laughs> some more and it started to get huge. Is it just humongous? And then I came to the pink and I started to do the decreases. The good thing about this project is that uh, it's been very, very cold during those weeks, so I had I could wear my knitting while making it. It was absolutely perfect, and I, I loved it. The only problem was when I came to the pink need to shift this. Don't worry, you're going to see the whole thing held up in a bit. Uh, I just need to be further away from the camera to do that. So I came to the pink part and I switched and I started to decrease every row on each side. And so I did that quite a while. Can you, see, can you see this in the middle here? This, it's, I love that color. Here's a larger chunk of it. I absolutely love that pink. So I knit and 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 then I ran out of yarn. It turned out that there wasn't as much yarn in the pink ball of yarn as it was in the gray one. So I ran out before I could finish uh, the final corner on this blanket. So sad, but eh, I'll just have to order another ball of yarn. I will have a gazillion left over from it, but I was thinking I could make matching pillows or something. But yeah, this is a huge project. I haven't me measured its size yet, but it's, <laughs> as you can see, it's enormous. And I absolutely love it. It's so soft and cozy and you now it's, it's like synthetic yarn all through. It is, let's see, uh, where does it say? Acrylic and polyester. That's all it is. <laughs> so. Here's the yarn from Norwegian Viking Yarns. 
but I gotta say, even though it was, you know, when, when people ask me um, or, or tell them that they want to learn how to knit, I always tell them, don't start knitting a scarf. It's the most boring thing ever. It's just garter stitch and you go, go chug along like on and you go on and on and on and on and it never, never ends. Because if you're going to make a scarf, you need to make it fairly long. And it's one of the worst projects to begin with for uh, a beginner knitter. And also, I find it very, very boring, even though I've been knitting for more than 40 years. But this project, you know, this is like eons of garter stitch. This, this is the single largest knitted project I have ever made. It's not the single largest project uh, in total. I did make a granny square blanket of 414 squares that is larger than this one. But as for knitting, this is definitely the largest project I have ever made. And I love it. And I've, I got some kind of blanket knitting bug, I think, because I want to make more. I've al already been scoping out the different colors available and there's a, an orangey one that I'm looking at that I'm thinking, you know, I could make a blanket or two for fall in that color. And maybe I could make a blue one and maybe a teal one and maybe another gray and pink one. You know, I, I could, I don't know. I don't know what it is because this is not interesting knitting in any way other than the the uh, colors of the yarn shifting, but I'm obsessed. I want to make all the blankets. I want to make a million blankets like this. So yeah, we'll see. There might be a lot of blanket knitting coming up. And that's also why I haven't got too much else to show you uh, in the knitting podcast this week, because I've been obsessed. I've been absolutely obsessed. Uh, well, enough about that. I guess you really, really would like to see the whole thing, right? Let me show you. You ready? There it is. It's gigantic. I can't even hold the entire thing. <laughs> it's so big. It's so cozy. <laughs> 